hello welcome back to my channel so these are the things you're gonna need and this is the cloth that I'm using so that part is gonna be the top and this is gonna be the bottom so the first step you're going to multiply your hip measurement by 2 and the hip measurement I'm using is 45 inches so that multiplied by 2 is gonna be 90 inches and I'm gonna add 2 inches for zip allowance and for seam allowance so this is the inspo for this um, particular design so you can tell the inspo has a long slit so we will have to make a slit in the front of the skirt but first you have to divide the cloth into two one for the back and one for the front so I'm gonna take one piece and divide it into two again and that is going to be for the back piece. I'm going to move on to the front. So the front has a slit. So I'm going to take 20 inches from the front piece. And I'm going to cut that out. That is how we're going to get our slit. Make sure you mark them so you know which one is the back and which one is the front. So this, so the next step is going to be the pocket. So this is a pocket template that I downloaded. So, and I have a video showing you guys how I download pattern papers. So you can check that out. Or you can use your hand and just draw, you know, a curve and get your pattern out. So after cutting out the pockets, I'm going to mark two and a half inches, but make sure you mark the wrong side from the right side. So I'm going to mark down two and a half inches on both sides. Now I'm going to turn the fabric to the right side and I'm going to make a tiny little slit so that the marking will reflect on the front. So now I'm going to place the pockets. Make sure right sides are facing right side. So this is the right side of the pocket facing the right side of the fabric and I'm going to pin it together. And after this, I'm going to sew it down. So you can do the same for the other side. But remember the other one was on the right, so this one has to be on the left. It has to be opposite. So I'm going to make a tiny little slit so I can see where the 2.5 is. And I'm going to pin the pocket to it. So for the front piece, I'm going to pin the 20 inches that we took from the front piece just so it stays together because I'm going to place the pocket on it. So I'm going to flip it to the wrong side, mark the 2.5 inches on both sides. Make the little slits. Turn it to the right side. I did the markings at the back because I didn't want the chalk mark on the front of the fabric. And I'm going to pin the pocket to it just like we did for the back. And we're going to sew them down. So after top stitching, I'm going to serge the front piece. So after serging, I'm going to pin it together. So this is where the slit is going to be, mind you. And this slit is pretty long and I don't want it that long. So I'm going to make my slits just 10 inches from the waist 
and I'm gonna stitch that now after stitching it you're gonna turn this um, you're gonna finish the raw edges like half an inch Once that is done, I'm going to put the front piece down and I'm going to lay the back piece on it and I'm going to pin it together to sew the side seam and the pocket as well. So you're going to do the same for the other side. So after I finish sewing it together, I serge the raw edges. So now we are going to move on to gathering the waist. So to gather the waist, you need to pull your machine to the longest stitches. And sew two straight lines. So after sewing those two lines, you're going to hold on to the, uh, the little the red pieces you left <laughs> and you're gonna pull the fabric together i believe you know how to gather fabric so yeah just the same old so when you finish the gathering you need to measure to see if you have your wrist measurement i left that um piece out and that is the zip allowance so you need to leave both on both sides you need to leave that space on both sides for the zip allowance so after that I'm gonna cut my waistband and the waistband is gonna be 33 because the waist measurement is 31 plus 2 inches for the zip allowance so 33 i'm gonna cut the same length for the violin but two inches for the width Pin the back and sew it. But before you sew it, you need to use the zipper to measure how much space you need to leave for the zip. Allow, I mean, for the zip. So you measure that and you pin it. Then you sew from after the pin. So after pinning, I sew it and I serge it, so I'm going to turn the fabric inside out and fix the zip. Match the tip of the zipper that has the hook to the middle of the waistband and pin it. Guys, if you don't get this side, make sure you watch it over and over until I get it because it's pretty simple.
so once you pin it you just flip the other side onto the zipper and you pin it as well After sewing the zipper in, we are going to finish the waistband. So we're just gonna put it, like we're just gonna top stitch on the front, all around. And you can also stitch the top, that is optional. So for the bottom of the skirt, I'm not gonna stitch mine because it doesn't have the ten tendency to fray. But if yours does, just fold it in like half an inch and another half an inch and sew it down that's it i hope you like it this tutorial is gonna follow up with another tutorial for the top for the skirt so make sure you watch that as well thank you guys for watching please subscribe bye oh and this is where i get my fabrics from i get a lot of questions that is why i put it in for you guys to see and you can order yours as well on instagram thank you very much bye